Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your November 2021 tarot reading. This is a reading for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for your support of the channel. I, I've been reading cards a long time, but I never knew that this platform even existed. I mean, it was not very long ago that I stumbled across reading tarot on YouTube. And it's been joy, it's been pure joy. So I appreciate all of you, and we're always connected here energetically. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. So there's a pick a card reading, there's a love reading. I also today we're gonna do a more detailed Celtic cross kind of reading and um, so if you like tarot and you like the channel I'd love to invite you to subscribe to higher source tarot all right what advice do you have for Aquarius sun moon rising and Venus what does Aquarius need to know please for the best and highest good of all concerned with Aquarius okay all right, so we'll begin here with our tarot reading, and then we'll have an Angel Answers Oracle card reading as well. You've got here the Ace of Cups is your current situation. The immediate influence is the Knight of Pentacles. You've got the Ten of Cups in your destiny. The Empress is behind you. The Eight of Pentacles is in the near uh, dis, um, more recent past. Sorry, the Two of Swords is the energy coming towards you, but interesting, you're represented by the Six of Swords. You got the Two of Wands for the person or situation you're dealing with. You've got the Six of Pentacles in your hopes and fears. Nine of Pentacles is in the outcome. Now, the bottom of the deck, you've got the Five of Cups, Nine of Cups, Hanged Man. Very interesting energies collectively. Let's see here. We've got here quite a bit of water and quite a bit of earth. So, We've got all the elements, but it's predominantly air and earth. And so I do feel like you have a change of heart with something. You may see a gift and a bomb, okay? It's one of those things where you, with that five of, of cups, it may have seemed like there was a disappointing situation, but I think you're going to get something better out of it with the nine of pentacles, nine of cups showing up. Both of those are, at, you know, they're at, you've got the nine, ten of cups plus the nine of pentacles. I do feel like it's an access to something you've wanted. And it all begins with the hanged man. The hanged man is vision quest. It's really changing your perspective. So especially if you've kind of been back and forth and wobbly about what you want, you're just not quite sure. I do feel like the the hanged man is going to help out with that. Um, the hanged man is that new, fresh perspective. It's also releasing resistance. And that's part of the problem when we're manifesting. If we're really resistant to the energy, we'll keep stopping things from showing up. The hangman, too, is an energy where you're open to anything. And that's really, when we go through life in this physical plane, being open to new opportunities, believing that they're available to you, you walk free with that. So I do feel like you have an energy of wish fulfillment, something reciprocal here, and really getting into sync. And so with the Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, if it's a new relationship, I do feel like it's something you've been wanting for a long time. Um, if it's reconciliation too, again, I, do, I feel like you've been wanting this for a long time. Aces are all about beginnings, a direction. It's, um, you know, it's a, a love that runs the distance. It's something very meaningful, okay? This Ace of Cups is one of those things where, it, you know, it's finally, you finally got it. The the relationship that actually seems like it's it's, more is that feeling of more there's a fullness here and it's somebody who wants to make a commitment with the knight of pentacles it is a long-term commitment this is not a fickle person at all it's somebody who knows what they want they're looking into the future they're planning ahead i do feel like for somebody here they may be even planning a vacation they have it there's multiple times somebody here wants to make plans with you it's some kind of a visionary type of energy and so with that Knight of Pent Pentacles, it runs the distance. It may move along slowly, but it develops over time and it develops in a way that is steadfast. And in partnership too, I do feel like the word steadfast is important. It's somebody who is very loyal, 
Um, I just see them wanting to be by your side, wanting to, you know, wanting to build a life is what, what I see with that. Now, if it's for some reason, because you do have all these pentacles here, if it's more work related or something financial, again, I do feel like somebody's looking at the future, wanting to do things right for the future. So we mentioned here, I mean, we've got here, I, I like to see this, the nine, 10 of cups and the nine of pentacles. So the nines and tens are very important numbers in the tarot. Um, you know, the, the 10 of cups here is tens are all about dominion. They're perfection, especially this one. It's a, it's a, a new cycle and it's absolutely brilliant. It's an energy of that rainbow after the storm. So Aquarius, if you've had some times in your life where you just couldn't get your head around why certain things happened, it made no sense. It didn't seem fair. It seemed like this world has got, is something is off kilter here. There's no way this could be happening. It ends up being, you know, developing into this kind of energy where it make all makes sense, right? We look at our lives and we think, man, at the end of it all, this damn well better make sense why I'm going through this. And it's this. So it really is an energy of celebration. For some of you too, it may just indicate a real connection with your family or a real desire to have that beautiful million dollar family because it's all right here and it's here for you. And so with the Empress in the background, I did get earlier and I forgot to say it, when I pulled that Eight of Pentacles after I got this, I felt like somebody may have had a child in the last year or so and it's been like a real adjustment adjusting to, you know, not only having this little human around, which is beautiful and wonderful, but there's something about really wanting to build a future for them, having a better future for them than whatever you were raised in, like a very integrous commitment to that idea. Now, I know that could be a very limited number of people, but I want to say it. Now, you've got cards of luxury here multiple times. So if you've been planning on something for a while, I do see in the outcome you getting it. If it's been a move you've wanted to make to an upgraded place to live, um, it feels like, um, you know, utopia. It's like wherever you're headed to, it's exactly what you've wanted. Now, with this, um, she is an energy that has great creativity. So she's ruled by Venus, ruled by love, but she's also the female creator of the material world. So you, again, with all these pentacles, you're creating wealth around you. You're creating access and opportunities. And why do we want money? Because it feels like freedom. She's free. She doesn't want for anything. She has her emperor too. So she doesn't need to because he'll take care of stuff for her. So again, somebody here, I feel like you may have had a child, but I also want to say those of you that isn't related, it really is more about that feeling of being free spirited, but yet attracting. It's an, a kind of a duplicitous card in that way. So with the eight of pentacles here, it's a, it's a focus to make gains. Okay. Eights are all about vibration too in the tarot. And so, um, so if, for you, this is definitely a card of increase. It's being in that place of, you know, increasing wealth, increasing stability around you. It, the pentacles too can be about the material or about the physical body as well. So with the eight of pentacles, it's also any improvements that you make will be long-term. If you're losing weight, if you're getting more muscle mass and decreasing fat, it's something that sticks around that you stick with too, because this is an investment. It's a, it's like being invested in the long run and really doing the stuff right. So you're not doing like you know, fad cleanses and stuff. It's like actually doing it in a very meticulous way for those of you that has to do with the physical body. But in terms of relationship too, it's doing things in the way that builds up the relationship so that it's very solid, a very solid foundation. So this Two of Swords is kind of an interesting card. You may have a brief impasse here with this Two of Swords, but I don't see it as being long term, it feels very temporary and fleeting. I mean, it could even be just a brief encounter where you feel a little bit caught in the middle by something. Um, you may have choices too to make here with the two of swords, two of wands. So especially if it's something financial that you're doing, I see you moving forward, but it may you may be a little bit stuck in knowing which road to pick. Um, research will help with that because it'll clear up the mind. This is an energy of not really wanting to see or make a choice. So 
some of you may delay a choice too that you just intentionally decide you want more time. Um, but with this Two of Swords, it can be a bit of a feeling stuck kind of energy. I do feel like too, with you being the Six of Swords, it's possible that it's somebody you're attracting. Uh, but either way, I still feel like the outcome is so beautiful with that Nine of Pentacles. I wouldn't get too hung up on it. Sixes, you've got a couple of them here. And they're all about bringing in harmony and balance. This one especially shows that little patch of wavy water, right? It's that discontented, emotionally dysregulated energy. And over here, you're headed towards very regulated, very smooth energy. It's the, you know, that reg the emotional, spiritual, mental regulation where it just seems like everything's in flow. And I feel like, too, this can be a card of travel. So with all the cards of wealth, attainment, luxury, that's, I wouldn't rule it out. Um, but I do feel like if there's been some holdups with that Two of Swords, this is all about you moving past those brief delays. It doesn't keep you down, Aquarius. So with the Two of Wands here, you've got the card of the visionary. And it's who you're attracting. So if it's a relationship, they do see a long-term future. They want to build a life with you. They, I feel like they want to move in together. They want to get a house together. They want to dream together even. There's something about that dreaming. There's something daydreamy. However, I will say though, the the wands are about you know using your will and making action. So it's not just daydreams. I do want to say there is action here. Um and I do see somebody looking at rings. So again, there's somebody that wants to move forward in a relationship. Now, in a job setting, too, we talked a little bit about physical moves already, so it may be that. But in a job setting, too, it may be somebody looking to put you in a new position. That may also be it. So I wouldn't be surprised if somebody got a new position out of that. So the Six of Pentacles is very reciprocal, and that may tie into, too, any new job changes. Somebody who has more experience and they either want to train you or they know you already have something that can that can bring they can bring you into that position and it'll benefit everybody because it's very reciprocal beneficial energy it's giving and receiving it's also a card that balances things out sixes are all about symmetry and balance and so it really is a card of taking action but it's like giving and receiving there's a mutual respect here and a mutual um, goal in mind so too, with the relationship, I feel like it's still very balanced. It's people, two people who want the same things. So it's not the one person is terrified of hearing your feelings story. We know that one, right? And I, it makes no sense why people enter into that. It's like, look, they're not ready for a relationship if they can't hear your feelings. Um, so the Nine of Pentacles, you have a card here of luxury, of opulence, abundance, financial gains. All that yellow, we love to see that. It's an environment that's very suitable for you. Um, it is an energy too, though, of being connected with your community. So I feel like you'll have good social opportunities in a relationship too. Like we talked about, you've got wish fulfillment. And, you know, the nines are all about that goal accomplished. So it, br it brings in a new beginning and it brings in clarity. I feel like there's sort of this unfoldment with this. So it gains some momentum as you get more, you're more and more appreciative in, in whether it's a new job situation or it's actually like an, a new housing is what really comes in for you. But if it was a car or something too, again, I feel like you have this sort of feeling of mastery with this. Like, you know, you did that, you know, you did what you needed to do to bring it all in. And I don't feel like anybody's envious of you in a negative way. I think they envy it in a way, but in a positive way, like they, they think it's cool and they think, how can I do that too, kind of a thing. So let's see here. What the angels have to say for you, Aquarius. Let's see about Aquarius. And... we go. Listen to your intuition. So meditate, right? And that intuition will get louder and louder and will be your guide. Quiet your mind down and that's how you'll hear it. You've got trust. So trust that the universe is always trying to interact with you and wants to bring in your desires. Our main issue when we manifest is being clear about what we want. We kind of 
can go back and forth and that's when we start to get a mix of some of what we want and some of what we don't really want. Forgiveness. Now, honestly, there's not a lot here to support that other than that five of cups. So I do feel like if you're still kind of caught up in something, it's all about that hanged man and changing perspective within the next few months, they say. And you've got don't stop. You are on the right path, Aquarius. Good things are happening for you. I love you and I'll be back again soon.